If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Kryptonite. I'm Colton, and again today, um, I will be myself. Boris will be back with us next week. But today, we're going to talk about top government officials who left their job for crypto. So let's dive in. Let me share my screen here. Um, one sec. So this was an interesting Twitter thread that um, we wanted to show you guys. Um, as we, as I said before, we're going to be talking about top government officials that left their job for crypto. Um, this is, you know, kind of big time. Um, you know, as you saw with the government, the governments are making their own stipulations around the world um, with what crypto is, what they can do in the country, if they can even use it. So the first one we're going to talk about is Jay Clayton. Um, you know, he was the former SEO chairman. He joined crypto custody firm Fireblocks to work on the market structure and customer needs. Um, again, you know, at SEC, as you know, with Ripple, with everything going on with them, you know, and so and XRP. Um, it, it's pretty interesting to see, you know, the SEC chairman uh, go join crypto after, you know, the huge lawsuit that's going on. The next thing, you know, the next person we want to talk about is Brian Brooks. You know, he's former acting controller at the currency at OCC, joined by Nanta uh, as their CEO. So, <laughs> again, it's kind of interesting to see someone go from a government job to a CEO position uh, in crypto. Um, so that was pretty interesting to see. Um, Mark Weston, former CFTC commissioner, joined FTX US as head of policy and regulator strategy. So again, this is you know, <laughs> you know another commissioner joining FTX. Um, it, it is pretty interesting to see that. Thaya Knight, um, you know, a former SEC counsel, joined Coinbase as a single uh, senior public policy manager. Again, you know, someone from the SEC who has been dealing with the lawsuit with Ripple and XRP kind of sees the value in crypto and, you know, left the government job to join a crypto company. Um, the next one is Arthur Levitt. Uh, again, another SEC chairman was advising two Bitcoin companies, BitPay and Barium. Um, you know, again, it, it's very interesting to see all these SEC employees who have been involved, who have been a part of the uh you know, court case with XRP and they're, you know, jumping their, jump, leaving their high paying government jobs and joining crypto. It, it, it's pretty interesting. Um, the next one is William Hyman, former director of SEC again, uh, division of corporation, joined a 16, uh, uh, joined a 16Z as an advisory partner. Again, you know, some of these are maybe a step down, but again, it's interesting to see that an SEC person is leaving uh, you know, after everything that happened with Ripple and XRP, uh, or still ongoing. The next one is Brian Quintes, former CFTC commissioner, was also named advisory partner of the 16Z. Again, it you know, it's uh, it's funny it, to me. It's kind of funny to see these government officials leaving their job and jumping to crypto, but. It, it's also a good thing too. Um, you know, they can pull a lot of strings with their buddies that they have, you know, so it, it could be, you know, a positive thing too, as well as kind of the irony behind all of it, but you know, we'll see what happens, you know, long-term. <clears throat> the next one is Brett Reedfern, you know, again, former SEC trading and marketing director, joined Coinbase as head of capital markets and then scrutinized as senior strategic partner. Um, so again, this is <laughs> someone from the SEC who has dealt with, you know, the court case who has, you know, been there with XRP and Ripple and they see the value. Um, and again, you know, it is cool to see the SEC people are leaving, but maybe that means there's a divide between the SEC and crypto and these people who are leaving, they just want to be on the, I'm not going to say the right side, but you know, the side that, you know, has the most potential at the end of the day. Um, so it is interesting to see that. Um, and the last one is Christopher Gianacarlo. Um, you know, he was the former CFTC chairman, joined CoinFund as a policy advisor and the digital asset board of directors. Um, like I said, it is very, very interesting to see all these people from the CFTC and the SEC kind of leave their government high paying government jobs to join crypto again me personally i think maybe they know something that we don't know that you know these 
these government entities, they really don't want crypto or something like along those lines. But it is interesting, really interesting to see them leave their, high, like I said, high paying jobs to come, you know, join crypto and companies, you know, um, you know, we're still in the early phases of crypto. You don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, they're leaving their, you know, really, you know, they have a safety, they have a safety vest in a government job. They, you know, they don't have to worry um, really about their job. They're getting paid six figures, you know, so it is interesting to see all these different types of people leave their government jobs. Um, I'm, ex you know, I expect to see more in the future, especially, you know, when crypto is, you know, more accepted or more, you know, a, a cultural norm, I guess I should say. Um, but it, it, it is very interesting to see nine high government officials leave their job to join a crypto company. Um, but other than that today, um, that's really all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if, uh, you know, um, that's about it from my side. But um, if there's anything else, you know, feel free to put some comments uh, on our YouTube channel. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, I hope to see you guys on the next edition of Kryptonite. Thank you. I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.